On February 28, 2003, Pope Benedict did something that had not been done voluntarily in the Catholic Church since 1294. He resigned. He was 76 at the time, but cited increasingly ill health and a declining mental state. Some of us seeing the headline thought it was an early April Fool's joke, but it wasn't. Benedict was born in Bavaria and had become a well-known theologian and scholar at an early age. He would end up being fluent not only in his native tongue, but also in English, French, Italian, Portuguese, and Latin, and could read ancient Greek and Hebrew texts. He's also a near-concert level pianist. In spite of his positive attributes, many saw his resignation as a chance for change in the church because Benedict was so conservative. He has taken flack in recent years following revelations that he was aware of abuse by priests but did nothing about it. After stepping down, he continued to retain a papal style in action and dress and was seldom seen in public except in the company of his successor, Pope Francis. I'm Dennis Daly.